right, we are back. We've got some clouds moving in and out of here, so hopefully. Uh, one thing I did notice when I had this set up, I had the cable going to the left as you were facing the camera per the manual. My trees were up here in the top, so I rotated it 180 degrees so that the field of view would be what I'd be seeing from the rear of the camera. So now I'm just waiting for Polaris to come back. Should be that guy right there. Once he comes back into view, and these clouds clear out of here a little bit, I will be back and we'll work on getting this thing polar aligned. I already did a rough one uh, with this already. Um, and so shouldn't have too much difficulty but i'm going to pause the video and be right back okay we should be back let me just double check that all right and we are that's good all right let me get the uh, players centered here and Two ways you can either hit the plus or minus or use the arrow keys. I'm going to use the arrow keys. Hopefully, that should be good there. So let's do a success. Okay, no. All right, choose a star other than player. So let's go to this guy here. Now the thing to remember here is to use your hand controller. Don't move the mount itself. Use the hand controller and then let the motors move the axis. There we go. So it's this guy right here. So let's do a finished. Double click on my star. Move it again. Finished. There's my star. All right, let's move them back to the home position. should be good enough. I have the uh, star sense installed and it wants to do an auto align so I can't go to the home position uh, with the controller. I have to slew it. So we'll do this. We'll go correct. Double click on Polaris. All right. So let's Double check we are good on that. I think we'll go with you. Oh, and as, how are we looking on Polaris? Looks like we're pretty well centered from the previous time I did this a few minutes ago. Um, I had a problem with the recording. That's why it's already there. I guess I should have moved it off so that we could work on that. But I think you catch the drift, use the manual adjustments. So we will go finished. Double click Polaris. All right. And we will do left and right again. Let's call that good. Call that a success. Let me just lock. make sure everything's nice and tight and locked down. All right. 
right, that should be good. Let's do a start monitor. Okay. Use them until the triangle. All right. So let's get that squared away. Azimuth seems to be good. Do the elevation. Tighten that sucker down and she moves. Let's go back up. Tighten her back down again. All right, now let me do the azimuth. think we might have to call that good we got some clouds moving in so let's just let that thing settle in let's let the clouds move by I'm gonna pause this hopefully that settles in real quick okay Polaris is back in view I think that's about as good as I'm gonna be able to get it so let's go ahead and do a finish And with any luck, we are polar aligned. So now let's close this guy out. Let's disconnect. As you can see, I'm taking some darks. So let me minimize this. Bring up PhD guiding. Now at this point, I'm going to have to uh, simply because I am taking those darks. I need, I guess I don't need the camera for that. So, I'm, but I am going to pause the camera. The star sense needs to do an auto align. I will let it do that, and then we'll be back with uh, the PhD. All right, we're back. So let's see if we can guide on this thing let's uh, connect everything see how well that polar alignment did start looping and let's and All right, so it's going to have to do a calibration. So let's see how we do. Hopefully these clouds stay away while it's doing its calibration. If you watch my other video, you know the pain that can be. All right, looks like we are guiding. While it's doing that, let's review the calibration data. Nice 90 degrees. That's pretty good. Let's bump this out a little bit.
let's look at guiding assistant and let's give this a couple minutes here apologies for the neighbor's dog in the background Two minutes. Let's see what we got. Oops. The Clouds have moved in, just some wispy clouds. Hopefully they move by fast. While that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the dew shield on. All right, we're back. So, the clouds gave us a little bit of a hiccup. Uh, went ahead and uh, slewed over to a brighter star so I could get my focus going. But as you can see, guiding's not too terribly bad right now. Uh, obviously, it could be better. Uh, I've seen flatter lines. Um, but I think this might do us. Uh, it's kind of humid tonight, so got a little bit of dew on here. Um, but let's go ahead and do a test image. Let's go over to Backyard EOS. Let's bump this up to 120 seconds. And do a test image. See what we get. Be back when it's done. All right, we're back. Let's see what we got here. And we've got probably a little bit of moon glow. Got M63 right down there. Let's see if we can frame that up a little bit better. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use that. But you know what? Let's look at our stars here. How are we tracking? Not exactly pinpoint, but that might be a little bit of dew on the thing on the uh, glass. But you know what? Let's go ahead and run it. So 60 exposures. That's about two hours worth of data. So let's go ahead and run it. Probably end up ending it early, thanks to the clouds. But let's go ahead and just at least first, how are we tracking? Yeah, we're staying fairly consistent. So let's go back, start our sequence, and I will see you in a bit. All right, so as you can see, we've captured some data tonight. Um, stars are getting a little elongated, but having some tracking issues. Clouds are coming in. Let's go look at that tracking. As you can see, it's a little, little wonky. But we're just going to let it run, see how it goes. And uh, we'll be back in a few hours. Okay, so 
here is the resulting image of M63, the Sunflower Galaxy. Uh, basically, this was a little under an hour's worth of uh, data. I took that into PixInsight. This would be my second attempt at PixInsight during a trial period. So, yeah, it wasn't that great. Obviously, uh, I needed to get SGP Pro, or excuse me, that's kind of redundant, isn't it? Sequence Generator Pro, or SGP, um, up and running. I've been having some difficulties with it, so, um, you know, I'm still sticking with uh, Backyard EOS for the data capture right now. Um, with SGP, I'm hoping to be able to center this a little bit better. Um, as you can see, it's a little, uh, you know, it is centered left or right, but north south, it's not so good. So basically, we got a uh, little under an hour's worth of data. Looks fairly decent. Uh, for my second attempt at Pix Insight, I'll take it. Um, so, what did we learn? Well, clouds are a mother. I'm not going to say the rest. Because, um, you know, YouTube frowns on that. Anyways, um, yeah, get SGP up and working. Uh, try to center it better if I have to do it manually. Um, cloud cover, got to work around that. I uh, believe I also misspoke earlier about uh, not being able to go to the home position via the hand controller um, while the uh, star sense is hooked up and hasn't been aligned. That is incorrect. Um, since recording this, I have been able to uh, go out there and do the polar alignment and everything. And as it turns out, I can go into that menu option on the hand controller, so it'll automatically go back to the home position. So that makes it a little bit easier. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, clear skies. Please hit that, hit that uh, subscribe, like, and bell if you enjoyed it. And uh, give me a shout out in the comments if there's anything you want me to cover going forward. Uh, appreciate your time. Clear skies. Good night.